Leah. So it's a joy to see all of you here this morning, especially Mama Dodo and the kids, whom we don't see very often. But when she has time from work, then they have fellowship. We miss you, and we love you too. And so it's always good to see you. It's always good to have fellowship with you. Of course, Brown is here today as well. We acknowledge your presence, Brown, and uh, it's always a joy. My heart goes out. My heart goes out to those of you who work and sometimes have to work on Sundays. Many of you have called me and said, Pastor, I wish, I desire that I will be able to be in church, but I cannot. And so when you are off and you make the time to come to church, it pleases me. And I also hope that it pleases the heart of God. Amen? Yeah. And so it is a joy for us to come and join together in worship. Without you, there is no church. With you, we have a church. Because you are the church. We are the church. The gathering of believers in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. And the Bible says, where two or more are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Today it is a privilege to share the word of God with you, but I have been blessed as well to sit and to listen to you and to some of you preach because the Bible says we all have diverse gifts. Amen? Amen. And God has gifted us with people who are filled with the Spirit and with people whose desire is to serve Him. So, Although I preach today, I have been blessed to sit down to be taught by you as well. Open your Bibles to John chapter 8. And today I am going to speak on the passage that you all know very well. John chapter 8. And beginning from the verse 31, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you obey or if you abide in my word, I like the King James translation in this, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Verse 32, John 8, 32, now I'm reading. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Amen. Amen. Today we want to talk about truth. And I am excited because this week my son discovered something and when I came from work he was very excited. He told me, Daddy, I discovered a scientific experiment. And so he went to the kitchen and he brought a bowl of water and he brought a glass of water and oil. And he poured the oil in the cup or in the glass and he poured water in the glass and he said to me, Daddy, the water and the oil will separate. Mm. The oil will stay at the top and you are so excited. And if I had to bring a glass here, can someone bring me a glass and water and oil, please? Upstairs, a glass, water, and oil. 
And then he transferred the oil and the water to a different glass. And lo and behold, the water went down and the oil came up. Somebody, could you just take care of the rain for us, please? Yeah? Ezekiel and uh, let me sit down. Yeah? Please, join us here. Come and sit down. Which reminds me. This week I had to prepare the bathtub in my house, so but I want to ask the parents. So Julius, It's something else. It's a vinegar. It's vinegar. <laughs> so, let me remind the parents. On Saturday, we want to prepare a place for the children upstairs. So, I need your help. Um, if a parent could come and help me upstairs, we want to prepare a place. Yesterday I, I could not come. And then we can make a safe place for the kids. And we can also install um, a speaker for a parent. But I would want to ask the parents, please, if because the kids are growing up, they need a place to feel safe and we need to make an effort to uh, stay with them, don't just go and put them there and leave, but we have to make a roster so that each parent is going to stay with the kids for some time. Um, sometimes we have kids, sometimes we don't have kids, so suddenly we have many kids at the same time. But as Emma is bringing the oil, I was telling you the story of my son who discovered that when you put water and oil in a glass, the water and the oil will always separate and the oil will always come up. Even if you pour the oil and the water in a different glass and it's mixed for some time, it will come. So you pour the oil inside here. Yes? More? Okay, enough. So you look, he was excited. Then you look, he said. You see? Wow, it's simple, that is true. Water and oil, they don't mix. The oil will always rise to the top. It's a very simple scientific experiment, but it does tell us something about truth and the discovery of truth. I could look at the eyes of my son and he was so excited that he found this simple truth through an experiment. And the discovery of this truth made him so joyful. And in John chapter 8, Jesus speaks to the Jews and he says, to them. If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. What does the NIV say? John 8 31. What does NIV? What is the NIV translation? To the Jews who have believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teachings, you are Really, my okay. For the Jews who have believed in him, 
He said, if you hold to my teachings, Okay. Just shut the door.